Let it continue playing Zeon Arts when we last left off. We're about to do a Grand Assault mission on a lander UFO, I believe. And yet another one. Yeah, we're going to be doing probably loads of these in the near future. In fact, we have been for some time. At least this one is during daytime, so we don't have to worry about throwing flares everywhere. And hey, we have a boom machine now. So everything can explode in ever more glorious ways. Uh, let's save a snapshot and just nudge up a little. Okay, so nothing seen thus far. There's a claw behind the boom machine. Morocco, uh, might as well leave everybody behind there actually, just to be on this absolute safe side. Jimmy Shu, we no longer have our commander Rose in tow here, but this means we can get some experience to some of our other guys, like Private Crazy Guy. Oh, and Shadowhawk doesn't have a laser weapon. Okay, so I really didn't plan this brilliantly well, did I? Because Ashton's got a laser rifle that I could have used. Darn it. Oh well. It's fine. If needed, we can always go and um, secure on site again. Certainly an option. And on the plus side, all the civilians seem okay. Right. Boom machine advances. So far, nothing seen, but we have found the entrance. And it's tempting to blow the entrance door open at this point. I think that area is likely to be secure then. Jimmy. Advance there, please. Secure. Crazy guy will shuffle in behind. Same with Desert Claw, and then we'll like, move him to there, I guess. Alright, Captain Shadowhawk. If we learn, don't forget your gun. Lots of civilians over there, so we should be fine. And run you up to there. Duck and ready, and turn. I'm wondering if there's androids, I just heard some terrain get crushed. Okay, advance. Nothing really seen at this point. Or in fact, at all. Um. Oh, one spotted. Yeah, Androns. How did we miss that earlier? Um. Somebody doesn't really have a way of getting around this. Jimmy, shoe, duck, and hold. I don't want to leave you out in the open, but there's no easy way of getting some cover to you. So it'd be better to keep the blast, the blast shot available. Meanwhile, I'm going to run an assault soldier up this way. So, Andron base. Um, Andron lander ship. In it comes. Can we have some reaction fire, please? Apparently, he just sees a wall of guys. And we see the flyer on the roof as well. Okay, so it's this configuration again. And I think it's your first shot. And everything dies. Meanwhile, down on the ground level. Everything dies. Okay, now just try and make sure that is all of them.
There should be a she behind there. I think we're probably safe on this side, because I'd imagine things would have died, or the civilians would have shot at things. There are a lot of them with guns over there, so... I think we're actually okay. End turn. This is where we find another one on the roof. He just decides to go over to the edge and go pew. Okay, nothing yet. Sammy, forward. Nothing seen. Moving along. Still potentially loads of area they could be hiding in, though. Though none of it here. Okay. Heavy weapons of doom. Behind you. Okay, so good news is we've discovered there's nothing really hiding back here. And this is somebody opens that door, we're going to have a world of problems. Good news is for Crazy Guy, at least he does have free electric shot grenades, so we're not exactly defenseless up there. Jimmy a shoe, round to there, please. And one spotted somewhere. Okay, one of you. <coughs> Aim shot hits. <coughs> Snap doesn't. Okay. How far can I toss an electric shot grenade? 61% accuracy actually, and 46 required. I want to see a second. And run right in the corner of the map. <laughs> Suppressed. That's not brilliant for us, actually, if we're honest. Duck and snap. Got a slightly easier shot going in this way, but. Okay. Boom machine to the rescue. We're also, you know, removing potential cover that we could have. Okay. So this is going to go amazingly well. If you survive this turn, yeah. Somebody threw a grenade, but didn't apparently work, or if it did, it only killed civilians. They did not do anything. Alright, Sammy. <coughs> Mr. Crest. And that's for death of you. Jimmy the Shoe. Um. Okay. What was that about? Did just not resolve his movement from last turn or something? That was... Oh, darn it, I can't move. Uh, okay, you're going to have to move. Okay. Well, let's um, compound some issues by doing something like this. The game's gone a bit mad. No, seriously, the game's gone a bit mad. 
I'm gonna let it end its turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, bear with while I save and reload this game, I think. Okay, well, the random movement um, of this Andron, I think it's this Andron, has sort of stopped. So now we can continue and do things. Um, boom machine, forward. I'll save a snapshot here, but I'm not really... It doesn't reaction fire, really, the tank, so... So I'd like to get some line of sight to it if I can. Duck and ready. Sammy, I think, is going to move back towards the door. Because we're going to have to make an attack on this soon. Crazy guy opens up, sees nothing. I'm going to end the turn there then. Open her up, nothing seen. Alright, Sammy's gonna move in behind, I think. Okay, so nothing new there. I think we're actually then more or less safe from things that are inside, at least for now. I should find out where the hell this guy's got off to. Found him. Okay. Now we know he's definitely back there. I can sort of prepare for him. They're really currently, and the preparation is just go and get shot. I've been Captain Shadow Hawk down there for a while, haven't I? I have. But nothing's been seen, that area's secure. And he doesn't really have a decent gun, so, you know, we'll work that out later in turn. Moving on the top level? You'd imagine there would be some. I've got one more shot where I have to reload with you. Okay, oddly I can see through that. Is the ship damaged at all? If I get randomly shot from back there, I'm going to be annoyed. But I suppose it does mean that I can use um, the tank as recon. Crazy guy, forward. Duck and ready. Sammy, forward. Duck and ready. And let's move the Desert Claw in. Captain O'Hawk sees an enemy. For whatever reason, we're seeing a lot of what's on the upper floor. I don't like that at all, actually. This one appears to be bugged. If I get randomly shot, I'm just not going to be happy. There goes Andron, minding his own business, looking at cargo containers, thinking of home. Okay. I'm going to give you the the first shot of this. Yes, I'm going to give you more than one shot of this, because I'd rather not... We'd, I could blast him with a tank and it would work, but he's really not being much of a threat, that guy. I'll regret that later. I know I'll regret that later, but for the moment, he's not. Also... Private Crazy Guy is not wearing the appropriate armor. Again. I don't know who it was last time, but I really need to sort myself out on that front. 
Major Sammy, forward. Mr. Hawk forward and Morauke forward. Yeah, Captain Shadowhawk's not wearing any armor either, actually. Which is about to become an issue. Though apparently the accuracy of an Andron is not an issue. Okay. So we have plenty of people who can go out there and do this. I think that pins him in position. This is going to hurt. Moves to there. So mostly we did a load of stun damage to ourselves. Excellent. Stop running away from me. We don't want to kill you this way. There we go. So in theory we've got both areas blocked. I'm not sure what the, the enemy can actually do about this. Meanwhile, I think we're going to go and upgrade to heavy plasma. Accuracy is fairly poor by the look of it, but you know, heavy plasma. At least there's a weapon that if it hits will damage. Problem is I now see it. That's fine, okay. Three shots. We've got a snapshot ready as well. And because I'm out of time units down here. Next up there's a claw. He's going to position himself ready. If he does get shot that's going to be a bit of a problem but you know we'll deal with that when it happens. We at least have some cover up there now and let's see what we can actually pick up from other, get other enemies at this point. Yeah, salt plasma is definitely worth it. Private Crazy Guy, you get to use alien weaponry. Rejoice. It's not very effective. At least not very accurate. But we don't need accuracy here. Um, that's all run you up. Duck and ready, end turn. So in case you read all, then that'll happen. Okay, not much. They're being a bit more aggressive with their um, forward going attacks at this stage, though. Alright, Sammy moves up. 73. Pre burst rounds to the face. Did not actually do enough. Crazy guy misses. Captain Chatterhawk. Heavy plasma kill. There's a claw got a good shot in as well, actually. Um, 
Can I actually shut that down? I don't think I can move far enough to do that. Morale code. Okay, Problem is I now know where the last guy is and that's not a good thing for us. Alright, behind some cover. Um, you need to reload, but you don't have the time for it this turn. Jimmy's shoe. Position. Jimmy's shoe doesn't have armor either. What did I... I did no preparation for this. And there's at least two. The good news is, it actually, because they are moving towards us, they don't have the concept of cover and things, they are actually giving us opportunities here. That didn't work out well, because now I need to... Yeah, I need to adjust things now. Okay. Crazy guy. Hundred percent block chance to ever I do this, so I'm closing the door. I'm running back there. Okay. You need to reload. And we'll hold you there. Jimmy the shoe. Stay there, Captain Shadowhawk. Forward. Duck and, actually, no, other side. Duck and hold. Isn't particularly going our way, this one. Good news is, I don't think they use grenades. I've knocked out a shield. This is the current level of accuracy, they're only going to be hitting themselves. And they're right in front of a door. I think this is where I go alien assault thing here. Yeah, crazy guy. Be crazy. Good shot. And what I can do with this is just go resisted. And I'm probably going to end that there then. Close the door. And we'll worry about the rest of what happens there a bit later. But overall, good shot by Crazy Guy. And we'll see what happens from here. They're probably going to open the door again. Well, Morocco, you were safe by your shield, and to be honest, we need our shield troopers alive, so you can actually leave the battlefield for now. <laughs> this is where one of them randomly is hiding in there for some silly reason. Alright, nothing seen there. Crazy guy, be crazy. Doesn't see anything there. He's probably hiding in the corner. I'm not going to risk that at this point. I'm just going to do that in turn. Right. Captain Hawk, and there we go. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't work, but still, it got rid of things that are in the way. means I could have a go at this now. Um, <laughs> hooray for the accuracy of alien weapons when you have to use them. Alright, well, let's go single shots here. That didn't work. Jimmy the shoot, duck. And let's have some sniping. Two damage. Well, it's two, more, it's two less damage I have to do to kill you now, I suppose. But you know. Right. Out in the open. Okay. So this is really my chance at this then, I think. Aim shot is not actually all that good. Darn it. 
Ooh, saved. I shouldn't have done that, really, but... Should have done that, but that was how it works. Sammy is now Commander Sammy. Crazy guy gets his Corporal promotion. Well deserved. Desert Claw earns his five kills in combat. Huzzah! And as I did bonus, we didn't lose anything. Tail until I've land. Auto resolve. Okay, so now we have um we now have a new Iceland incident, Huzzah. And I can send base complex to go and deal with that at some stage. It's probably worth using base complex rather than temple of power because they have more soldiers. Uh Europe is good. We're getting an extra hundred thousand from them this month. We're doing really well in terms of that. Okay, return back. I do need to deal with this guy. We have to refuel and reload. I might not get a chance. Okay, a couple of hours. There we go. Right. Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Corsair, go. I'm just going to sing that into the sea because, you know, that's worth dealing with now. Next, I'm going to intercept that with um, the Shrike on this side of the board. Yeah, I do have one soldier in his name, and I knew should. I thought I did hire some more for this, but maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Okay, anyway, well, let's get some privates into the mission, shall we? Let's go and assign you, and let's assign... We need a new shield, don't we? Gulfar's name? Welcome aboard. We need more shield troops. Always need more shield troops. Um, let's just make sure everybody is fine here. Actually, I should make sure they're all equipped, actually, before we do this too much. But, yeah, there we go. So shield to the back. Uh, really, our heavy weapons should be there. Not, apparently, some people don't even have weapons. And also, as an added bonus, some of you are going to get the first test of um, our proper weapons now. Because we have some plasma stuffs. That is a plasma rifle. Fortunately, you, Rochambeau, are not going to get anything on that nature, and I'm not going to give you the wolf armor because it's not vital for you to have it. And sorry, my voice is starting to go a bit here. Uh, right. Captain Kitsumina, you get the first of the plasma weapons. In the ongoing battle with Rochambeau at this stage now, to become commander of um, base complex. Well, leader of it anyway. And no, we're definitely not um, tweaking the process so that is going to be a straight battle between the two so you both strive for excellence and betray the other but of course that is the way of getting there we know that is um thwacker i'm actually tempted to go up to wolf armor for he's a heavy weapons dude he does need things other side of the coin though i'm going to give him an electric shot grenade rather than the um stun grenade because that's a bit more in keeping Everyone else should be fine there. Um, Orange Fuzzy Dave. Equip default equipment. Doesn't have default equipment. Because we don't have any additional laser car... Actually, why don't we have carbines? Somebody's got to have some. Uh, Kirikwai has the other one. That's why. And unless anybody else has any laser weapons that they're holding on to, which they shouldn't really have. Yeah, we really we really get a bit screwed on this side of the board with um, things like that. So you're going to have to have a ballistics um, run of this. I must give you a med kit if you can actually hold it. Yeah. So I think additional med kits is something I should definitely be considering. But no, that, that puts you overweight. So. Uh, rifleman. Yep, equip the default equipment we don't have, but then I can go and give you a rifle. Might procure on site a bit later, never know. So, jackal armor. And stun. So you're out of grenades. Healing's definitely more useful than the grenades at this point, I think. Also, why is that down? Did I just set that to the default equipment at some stage? No, well. 
Once we have a few more plasma things and things, we'll be able to sort that out. All right, shield trooper. Yep, that's mostly all fine, though you need jackal armor. And also, you should really have... I'm sure I adjusted the default equipment of shields. Yeah, Electroshock over the um, stun grenades because we don't really have anything that's coming up here. And Kirikwai can stay in as well. He's slightly wounded, but we should be fine, I think. Right. Back to dropships. So if everybody kind of sorted out there, free most of our ballistic stuff's at the back. I'm going to actually move the laser carmine there. So two assault soldiers in the middle, kind of. Okay, that'll do. Anyway, inset please. It's also a lot faster actually, strangely, because of the Shrike's increased speed. We get there a bit quicker. So, next time we're going to do that mission. We're going to gain even more money from this, and hopefully, hopefully soon, uh, two days, 15 from their Shrike ship, and also... We're only a day and 10 hours from a second Corsair being transferred over to Temple of Power, which will be useful. So, actually, I'm only 20 minutes into the video. Let's let's continue. Let's continue. I haven't done a long video in a while, so... So I'm willing to accept this as a video, because it's probably, with my voice going, going to be the last bit of recording I do today. Welcome to Iceland at night. Because I planned it. Um, okay, so on an edge and we're on a corner. Okay, snapshot on. That's going to be a real pain for get you through, so I'm going to run you out the other way. Alright. Uh, multi parrot. This way. And flare. Oh, actually, you're already out of time yet. It's because you're a rookie. Should remember things like that. Quacker, forward. Duck and ready. Rochambeau. You know, neither of the captains at this point did get the um, did get the wolf armor at this stage. That's going to come back to bite me at some point. Cool, Fuzzy. Match has a good number of time units, so she should be okay in that regard. Captain Kitsumina. Need an electro flare about there. Or right in front of us will do. Kirikwai. I think between free and the tank, that area is going to be sorted, so it's basically just move other people up. And the dark one. Dark one can join here. <coughs> dark one can join here, and I can lament the fact that I didn't give him the laser around. I've probably done that somewhere else as well. He doesn't have the reload.